right guys, so today I've got a really, really cool tutorial for you, or at least I think it's cool. Uh, my only problem is I'm working in a very messy desk, on a very messy desk. I haven't cleaned in a couple weeks, and I usually do that every week, every Friday. It's kind of my time to clean out the mess that I've created the entire week, but I haven't done that in a couple weeks because I've been out of town uh, doing a lot of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to try to work through it for you, and this is just for you, all right? So today's tutorial is going to be working on this image here which is uh, a recent image that I created, a, a portrait that I created for a family, but we're gonna specifically, I'm gonna specifically show you how I bring this little measuring cup, glass measuring cup into the image and make it uh, pretty much see-through, all right? So we're gonna go from this to this, or we're gonna attempt to do that, all right? So I can't say, that, I can't promise anything, all right? So this is, the sugar that we're working with here. And this is the um, kind of the layers that were, were used to create that. So uh, a lot going on here with the sugar falling off the edge and that kind of thing. Uh, and But we're gonna make this thing see-through. So let's give this a whack here. You can see that we use the color balance layer. When you take the color balance off, it does turn a little blue. So we uh, yellowed it up a little bit. And then curves, we lightened it up a lot. All right. And then we also have this magical layer here, which is going to give you the um, what we're seeing here. All right. So let's get into this. I'm not going to show you all the sugar and shading and all that kind of stuff. That's uh, not really what we're going to be going for here. So let's go over here and grab our... sugar good we're gonna copy it and we're gonna bring it right over here and we're gonna drop it into our scene exactly where we want it and we're gonna shrink it down here give it its placement we can make a big big one or we can make a really tiny thimble sized one whatever we want to do because it is our portrait it's our picture. We can do whatever we want. That's the cool thing about what we do. Okay. Bring it there. Bada bing, bada boom. And then the very first thing I'm going to do real quick is just get rid of this highlight here. I don't really care for that highlight. So we're going to just come in here and mask that out or clone stamp that. And then we're going to merge those two there. Good. So now we are ready, set to go. Now we need to cut it out. So we're going to put a layer mask on this and we are going to go in here. This is the way I like cutting things out. A lot of times it's just uh, doing it kind of an old school way. I get about a 90, uh, 93, 94 uh, hardness on that. And then just come down here. We're going to do a very rough cut out here of it. A little crazy there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and I will get back with you when I'm finished. All right. All right. So that's good enough with our cutout. I think we, um, you know, did that good enough. You know, I think on the original, I cut out the sugar too and separated it just because uh, it kind of got a little funky. And the coloring and all that kind of good stuff. So we're just going to take this.
And do that with it. Now we're going to just copy it. So now when we come in here and we erase it, let's see here, we'll erase it. I'm working faster than I usually, well, maybe not quite as fat, too much faster, but I work, I work pretty fast, but I'm not being as detailed as I might be otherwise. Okay, so we're just gonna bring that, that looks fine. We'll go with it for now. All right, so then we're gonna come in here and like I said, we want to um, lighten it, change the color, those type of things, because the color's a little uh, raunchy blue on it. That's not what I wanted. Color balance. Color balance, and then we're gonna bring it in here. We just wanna look at our overall image. We just wanna make some basic changes to start with. Uh, and then we'll clean those up a little bit later. And then we're gonna come in here and uh, get our curves layer. I like working with curves. We're gonna bring that up. Make sure we attach it there, good. We're gonna bring that up. Good, and double it. Okay, that's looking fine for right now. Okay, so here's the trick. When we wanna make this thing look like it's see-through, like we're seeing through it. Now I shot this on black, I did it on gray as well. Uh, <clears throat> initially thinking gray was gonna work out really good for me, and it didn't. Gray was horrible, <laughs> it didn't work at all. And so, so I shot it on black and I tried it on black to see how that worked and it actually did work. So we're gonna go down to our bottom layer, which is the actual photo here. And we're gonna just take a selection here and copy it. Then we're gonna bring it up here and we're gonna attach it to our uh, measuring cup here. So it's there, we've just hidden it with the actual counter behind it. So now we're going to go in here and we're going to do overlay. And then we're just going to drop this down to uh, somewhere in there. All right. So then we're going to just keep on working our opacity here. We want to bring that up. You can see the further you bring it up, the lighter you make it, kind of the, it's beginning to blend in. It's beginning to look real. It's not too bad, something like that. We can change our color temperature on here. It looks a little yellow. Let's find that little happy spot for it. That's not too bad right there. Looks pretty dang good. And then if we had places in here that we don't think we'd see through, like, um, you know, this up here might get a little funky. Uh, we can go in here and we can just kind of uh, mask out, paint out that. And we get a little bit more of an edge there along these edges here. You might not see as much because of the glare of the edge, the thickness of the glass, you know, so you might come around here and just knock that out just like that. And so you can actually see the edge of the glass, kind of the same thing around the bottom here. The thickness of that glass wouldn't really let you see through that glass. We can come in here and kind of do the same thing in the background there. Um, I don't like that quite as much. So we're just going to drop that down. I'm going to get rid of some of it. It's about like that. Boom. We've got a measuring cup. And that's how you take a measuring cup and make it see-through. That wasn't even shot in that location. That is freaking cool. 
And then we can do all the other good fun stuff around it. You can see how that's still color tone is not right. We got, you know, this sugar is way too bright. Obviously we don't have shadows, all that good stuff, but we can fix that or we can change that or make that happen. <clears throat> now that we have a good sugar cup, we can bring it to that. Kind of cool, huh? That one's actually a little bit bigger, a little bit darker. Eh, I don't know which one I like better. They're both kind of cool. Anyway, that's how I do this. All right, so that's how I make that clear glass see-through uh, when you shoot it on black. So we go from here and bring it in here and make it look like it's actually in the scene and with some shading and uh, you know shadows and that kind of stuff, color correction, it can look pretty cool. Anyway, that is the tutorial today. That's how I create or put glass, and this is any glass. I do this with all glass. When I put glass into a picture, um, the thing you need to understand is when you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the background, all right, and then overlay that like we did here in this part here. This is the copy. You overlay it and then bring the opacity down. If we brought that opacity way up on this one, you can see the difference. Bring it down, bring it up. And so you just find that spot where you like it, where you, it's comfortable to you. The more I bring it up, the darker it makes the glass. And that's actually probably a little bit better than I had it. You no, know, I had it at 54 which made it a little bit light. 71 actually looks a lot better. I like that a lot better, but too, too late. There you got the print. All right, so that's it. Anyway, go give that a whack. Let me know how it goes for you, and we'll see you next time on the next Illustrator TV.